Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Music with Todd Ledbetter, and today we have another episode of uh, songs I wish I never heard. Uh, basically, the premise is that I liked them so much the first time that I heard them, I wish I could hear them again for the first time. Now, this song, uh, well, the artist we're going to feature today is Gary Wright, and the song is Dreamweaver. And this song comes from the 70s, I believe uh, it was in 75, uh, I believe pretty sure uh let's see 76 it was and uh it's basically um all just synthesizer i mean and you talk about uh when uh van halen came out with jump and there was this big you know war between uh david lee roth and and Eddie Van Halen and, and not just David Lee Roth, but the other members of the band and also the producer about having synthesizers and stuff like that in, in this music. Well, Gary Wright was already doing it and he had huge hits with it. So I think Eddie Van Halen might have knew something. He had something very good. Not that Jump is my favorite song. I have to admit that Jump is not one of my favorite Van Halen songs, but it was their only number one hit. So, you know, what are you going to say about that? Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, Gary Wright, uh, he also had another hit called Love is Alive, which is a great song. The Dreamweaver album came out in 1975. Um, and uh, he was also a member of the uh uh, band Spooky Tooth, if you remember Spooky Tooth, and uh, also members of Foreigner came from Spooky Tooth as well. And uh, I think that was pretty cool. But anyways, uh, Gary Wright, oh man, this song has been one of my favorite songs, definitely one of my all-time favorite songs, not just from the 70s, but for all time, it's it's an amazing song. I just love the feel and the soundscape. I love the synth bass. Uh, <laughs> out of out of out of everything, you know, I'm not a huge synth guy, but the synth bass is just so cool, and I just think it's amazing how uh, this song is just all put together. And let's take a quick uh, peek at uh, at how it starts out. So it's just like a strings with some twinkly strings. Um, and then it comes into the vocal, uh, the, the vocal uh, part with just that. Uh, I'm going to just do real small snippets so I can see if I can keep uh, the copyright uh, monster away. I've just closed my eyes again. Very cool. There's just something about just the dream the dream weaver aspect of this song just the whole feeling of uh of the, the music and, and where it takes you back to it's funny with this song you know how some songs take you back to a certain era i've been listening to this song for so long i remember hearing it on am radio when i was a kid and i just really loved it and and then but i've i've heard it all my life and so it doesn't really bring me back to a certain place in time. It, I, I just focus on the song for some reason. Um, it's just a very cool song. Today. I love his voice too. He's got such a great mellow voice. He, he does have the ability to kind of growl as well. Um, high notes. I, I would try the high notes right now, but um, my voice is totally not... <laughs> I'd like to sing along with it, but I'm not there right now. My voice is not woken up yet. I just started talking this morning. So uh, Dreamweaver, though, let's see. Uh, I'm going to get out of the screen share here. Yeah. Uh, he was a funny thing that I didn't know about him. He was a uh, child actor and he performed on Broadway. Um, I thought that was kind of a cool thing to find out about him. Um, he also re-recorded this song, Dreamweaver. Uh, two more times he did it in the 80s uh and then he also did it in the in 1992 for uh wayne's world if you remember if you remember when that was a a, a thing uh, wayne's world was was a fun movie so those are just a couple notable things but um i really thought it was kind of interesting just to kind of compare uh just the kind of keyboards with say van halen's keyboards as well I thought it was kind of interesting just to see how uh, how much they sort of resembled each other. 
And let me see, let me get, uh, see if I can just pull that up real quick. Go ahead and screen share. There we go. Yeah, so if you take a look at uh, Van Halen's jump, Let's see, where are we? So <laughs> to me, it's quite similar. And, uh, and, and I think it's kind of interesting and I like the, the idea that it is similar. Uh, let's see if I can. Let's take another look at uh, some of, uh, some of the uh, music from the Dreamweaver just to kind of get more of a sense of the feel. Cool. Across the highways of fantasy. Um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, I wish I could hear this song uh, for the first time again. It's such a cool song. Um, what I'll do is I'll I'll I'll, put, I'll try to put the uh, the link down in the description so you can go and listen to it um, yourself and uh, check it out. But once again, this is Gary Wright, Dreamweaver, and I just wanted to uh, uh, bring out a video of of songs, uh, another song that I wish I'd never heard before, so I can hear it again for the first time. I want to thank you guys for uh, watching, uh, subscribing, and uh, liking this video. And if you have any comments, please uh, put them down in the comments below. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. This is Music with Todd Ledbetter. See you next time.